each year some 2 million women and children many younger than 10 years old are bought and sold around the globe impassioned by the silence surrounding the sex trafficking epidemic sunita krishnan co-founded prajwala or eternal flame a group in hyderabad that rescues women from brothels and educates their children to prevent second generation prostitution sunita krishnan was born in 1972 at a very young age, she wanted to help the poor children of a village near home city. So, she went to college to become a social worker. One day, as she was organizing the village to teach the children, a gang of eight men did not like that a woman was interfering with what they claimed as man society. The male dominancy of Indian society influenced the eight men to rape her beating her so badly that she is partially deaf in one year. She has had to deal with all that and even more. Tau violated, she refused to be broken and she gave birth to an institution that assists trafficked women and girls to find shelter. This definitely requires more courage and boldness since this Indian society always presses women isolates and stigmatizes rape victims. Did you know that she is 4.5 feet tall? Don't let her height fool you. She is a world changer. Today Sunita is a leading advocate for the fight against sex trafficking. Sunita explains in the video that the rape did not cause her to become a victim but rather it has released this anger. Not just any anger, but pure furry. She dedicated her life after that to being an activist and to fight against the same thing that happened to her. In an interview, she said, What affected me more was the way society treated me, the way people looked at me. Nobody questioned why those guys did it. They questioned why I went there, why my parents gave me freedom. And I realized that what happened to me was a one-time thing. But for many people, it was a daily thing. Sunita believes that rapists should be ashamed and punished. Her courage, conviction, determination and her fighting spirit is an inspiration to all of us. Society makes you feel cheap. I choose not to feel like a victim. I am not a victim. I am a survivor. I speak about it with a lot of pride because I am proud of what I have become today. I have not done a mistake. I don't want my face to be blurred. I am not to be ashamed for. The guys that have done it should be hiding their faces and they should be blurring their faces. This is the statement given by Sunita. She co-founded Prajwala, meaning eternal flame, in 1996. The journey began by converting a brothel in India's southern society of Hyderabad into a school for the children of sex workers. Since then, she has braved threats and physical assaults. One particular attack left her with an irreparable damaged ear. But an undaunted Krishnan has managed to rescue some 8,000 girls. Those rescued are rehabilitated. Shelters have been built and a factory has been opened where skills like carpentry, welding, etc. are taught to the girls. Prajwala also tries to unite the victims with their families. Sometimes the victims are not accepted back by the families owing to the backwardness of our views on women. At such times, Prajwala takes full responsibility of such victims. Some women and girls are also married off by Prajwala in its endeavor to integrate the victims back into the society. Prajwala also takes care of the last rites of the victims who pass away. In all these tasks, Prajwala faces stiff opposition from the orthodox and male-dominated Indian society. 
when a child grows when a teen age aspires she always wanted to be an actor doctor teacher astronaut scientist lawyer president princess etc remember prostitution or flesh business is not on the list and it will not be and human trafficking no one should be for sale i hope you like the video thank you